everybody welcome back thank you for joining me again i don't know if you've already seen the video that i've done um which was colorful july's summer aquarium box and this is a lot of the goodies that i got in it and i've got to be honest i've been spoiled for choice i've been like oh i might do that and then oh no what if i do that okay so that might have jumped there because i decided to go to voiceover and get rid of the 10 minutes that i spent waffling and changing my mind on what we're doing <laughs> so what i've done here is i'm going to do one nail at a time because i weren't sure which way i was going forward with it so i've just base coated this one nail and um on the base coat tacky layer i'm using this chrome so it's going to be underneath other stuff, so I just want the sheen of the chrome, um, really. So I didn't want to wait and put it on top of top coat. I've just put it into the base coat layer, so that's how well that's worked. And now I'm going to go in with another coat of base coat on the top of it, just to seal it in before I do anything else. It's about a week since I filmed this, um, so I'm not quite sure how well I'll get on with doing a voiceover. Um, if you've used any bottles of anything on top of your chrome powder, don't forget to wipe your brush before you put it back in your bottle. Because uh, odds are you will have little remnants of that sheen on your brush. So these stickers came in this kit as well. Uh, and there's corals and fish and all sorts. So I've decided to do this one as like um, more silvery glistening at the top and gets darker blue as you go down. And then I've got the coral at the bottom and then I'm going to use a couple more of those stickers with the fish and put those up at the top so they're just going onto the tacky layer so if you do it like that you also you can possibly slide them around a little bit if you've got them in the wrong place and then anything sticking off at the edge i'll just cut it off Now, if these stickers were going on top of your other colour that you've done and then you've finished, that's all you want to do. If they're fairly short nails or you've already built your apex, then you can top coat over your um, stickers. But I want to build the apex now because I've just done that uh, onto the flat nail. And for this length of nail, that won't be thick enough. It won't be strong enough. So what I'm doing is another coat of base coat just to seal it in. And then I've got this um, Bone Pretty Gel Clear uh, Builder Gel. Comes in a really big pot, it's fab. Uh, so I'm just going to encapsulate all this and build up that height that I need. So I'll do this in two coats, I think. I'll do this first one. And then go in with another one to build the shape that I want. And I'll cure in between. So if you're layering up, you can do a 30 second cure and then lay up, layer up some more, but make sure you give it a really good cure at the end. And um, builder gels notoriously leave quite a thick um, tacky layer, uh, dispersion layer. So make sure you wipe that off before you start painting on it or anything like that or filing it. So I'm just doing this second layer and then I'll put it in for a 60 second cure. So turn your hand over and you'll get it to dome in the middle and then what you can always do is just smooth it while it's upside down and that's it get that in now this nail i've done exactly the same again with the chromes but i've used the blue at the top and the darker blue at the bottom these are all out of that palette of six some beautiful colors in here absolutely gorgeous and then this here, what I've done is I've mixed uh, some of the Solid Cream number 57, that greeny one, with some base coat. And I've just painted that over the bottom of the nail. And now I've got some more base coat on my palette and I'm just using my dotting tool. But I'm going kind of from left to right because I want it to look ripply. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm actually pushing it down onto the blue. So because it's a dotting tool, it's it's scraping it away. So I've got two things happening. I've got the sort of bubble look happening and then I've got that line across. 
for the ripple. Does that make sense? I know what I mean. So, just letting that settle a little bit. I needed some more base coat on my palette. And the top ones are running down a little bit, so it's making all those like weird shapes. And then once that's cured, I've got these stickers, little cloud stickers. These came in the kit as well. So I'll just put a couple of those on. Now these were in the kit and it's all broken shells and pearls and little metal uh, shapes of shells and all sorts. So I'm just putting one layer over the top of that of the builder gel. And then into that I've got a mermaid tail. Oh, and these look like the little um, irregular shaped little glass blobs, beads, tiny, tiny little bits they are, um, and a couple of pearls, and I wanted them to look like, um, like bubbles, because I, I want, well, the intention is that the mermaid's tail, it looks like she's either just jumped in or she's just flicked her tail up, um, so we've got all these bubbles coming up out of the water, and then I'm going to paint on some little tiny bits of white for the splashes. So if you were going to be wearing these out and about, what I'd recommend is probably stick that tail on with um, a piece of, you know, the solid non-sticky gel um, or poly gel or something. Um, it will hold on this the way I've done it, but you won't have to go around the outside like I have done here. So I've made life a little bit more difficult for myself because I'm now building the apex and encapsulating all those tiny little ones and securing around the mermaid tail all at the same time. So that's the thing about when you've got charms on. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen me on a video, but I've got long curly hair. Um, and I always think about what it would be like to wear this. I don't want to show you something that's not going to be wearable. Um, and you won't want to get your hair stuck all in this mermaid's tail. So I'd make it really smooth around the edge, like I said, with some builder gel, poly gel or the non-stick uh, gel. So no, no jagged edges, no big divots underneath that things can get stuck in. So that's it. So just some tiny little splashes with white. And then I'm going to stick just another couple of them little... Um, bubbles on I don't know if I said it before but there's, I've got my colourful July um, discount code for you so I'll put that down in the description box below and you can get one off with these um, mystery boxes uh, or seasonal ones or you can subscribe so that's entirely up to you so have a look on the website because there's loads to choose from and the boxes are always absolutely rammed with stuff. You could get so many different sets out of these. Just one box. Now this one, this pink is number 19 in the solid cream gel. So I'm just going on with the second coat of this. They do apply lovely, very well pigmented, very smooth.
and I'm not going to bore you showing you sticking all those things on because all I've done is a coat of the builder gel and then you stuck those little bits on where I want them so I'm at the top of the nail on this one and the bottom on the other one and then I'm going to encapsulate with this clear builder gel again Now I faffed about quite a lot with this, so I ended up getting a few bubbles in my builder gel because I was taking my brush on and off it and I shouldn't have done. You should always keep your brush attached to the builder gel and then you don't make air bubbles. But I decided at this point that this was actually the bottom of the seabed, you know where the water's really, really shallow and that would make schools for having bubbles in it. <laughs> so I'm just feathering it down. And then make sure it's all the way up the sides so you're not filing the colour off when you do your filing. If you go past it that's fine because builder gel is very easy to file. And then what I'll probably do is cure that and do another coat just to make sure I've got it to the right uh, size. Then I've filed them off camera and I'm just going in with some top coat so don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video uh, and if you've not already subscribed if you could um, have a go and click that button that would be lovely. Thank you very much to Colourful July for sending me this. It's a fabulous box. Well done. Whoever's chosen everything to go together has done really really well with this one. It's a beautiful box. So this is my summer aquarium set. If you've got a favourite let me know. So thank you very much again everybody for watching. Uh, I really really appreciate it when you leave me some comments. I love reading them uh, and I'll always reply or at least give you a heart if I'm rushed for time. And I'll see you soon. So take care. Don't forget to look after each other. Love you loads. Bye.